ACL, PCL, and quadriceps. A question came in one of our conferences. The question was related to the quadriceps. What is quadriceps avoidance gait? What is active quadriceps test? There was some confusion related to the answer, and I'm going to try to simplify it. The quadriceps avoidance gait occurs in ACL injury. Most people with an ACL tear will alter their gait to avoid anterior displacement of the tibia, which occurs when the quadriceps contracts. The patient will walk with a slightly bent knee to avoid making the quadriceps work. This will decrease the demand for the function of the quadriceps, which minimizes the anterior pull on the tibia, and it will help the knee to be more stable. The quadriceps avoidance gait can occur by hip flexion, knee flexion, or both. The knee can be bent, or the patient will lean forward, so the hip is flexed. The active quadriceps test occurs in PCL injury. The ACL does not like the quadriceps. So the PCL like the quadriceps, but it does not like the hamstring. This is a major confusion, but let me simplify it. We start with the mechanism. The ACL is injured with the knee extended and valgus, or it can be a hyperextension injury. So the tibia moves anterolateral in extension. So you don't want to do anything that moves the tibia anteriorly or causes the knee to be straight. You don't want to have anything to do with the quadriceps. So you have quadriceps avoidance gait. In fact, when you flex the knee, the IT band becomes a flexor of the knee and it reduces the tibia. The IT band pulls the tibia backwards, reducing the tibia, and this is the theory behind pivot shift. So let's use the hamstring for therapy for the ACL tear because it can pull the tibia backwards. A front structure injured, the ACL gets the most posterior structure for rehab, which is the hamstring. Also, after surgery, you can avoid open chain quadriceps strengthening, such as seated leg extension. That should be avoided. How about the PCL? The PCL is usually injured with the knee bent. A direct blow to the proximal tibia with the knee flexed dashboard injury, or an uncontact hyperflexion of the knee with the foot in plantar flexion. So the knee is bent, and when the knee is bent, it subluxes posteriorly. So if I ask the patient to contract the quadriceps muscle with the leg stabilized, the tibia will be seen reduced from the posterior subluxed position. And this is a test to diagnose PCL injury. It's called active quadriceps test. The PCL loves the quadriceps because the PCL think the quadriceps pulls the tibia anteriorly. So when you do rehab for the PCL, which muscle are you gonna use? It will be the quadriceps muscle. The posterior structure will get rehab of the anterior muscles, the quadriceps. PCL does not like the hamstring a lot likes the quadriceps. Early rehab post-surgery for the PCL you should avoid prone hamstring curls because the hamstring will create a posterior pull on the tibia which will increase the stress on the graft. I hope this lecture is helpful. In summary, you know that 
The CL does not like the quadriceps. They're going to do quadriceps avoidance gait. They're going to use the hamstring for early rehab. The PCL loves the quadriceps, so they're going to use the quadriceps for early rehab. They're going to avoid the hamstring for early postoperative surgery. And they're going to use the quadriceps for a test to demonstrate injury of the PCL. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.